both, now more at ease, watched, absorbed in the spectacle. Lauren especially, staring down the falling clumps, finding strange satisfaction as they slid into the growing pile at her lap. Knowing she had little input, she relaxed herself, soaking up the atmosphere, compiling a record in her mind, doubtful this would ever be more than once in a lifetime. Aromas complemented the Western-inspired theme, soothing notes of sandalwood and leather with a piercing chemical aftertaste, courtesy of the open barbicide jar. As a barber shop, it was puzzlingly intriguing to Lauren. Old school, bare-bones macho with a coating of contemporary cool, seamlessly blending together. Add to that a well-dressed, young, but a little rough around the edges barber. She was glad not to be here during open hours, fearing what intimidating characters might be regulars. Beneath the surface, though, she could sense the charm. However, for the time being, she'd be a one-off customer in her eyes. By now, most of her left was bare scalp up to the top. Lauren was feeling the chill from both sides, and beginning to question where her appointment was heading. She flinched, Adam's attempt at brushing clippings away tickling his newly shorn customer. He continued, Lauren watching the clippers rise higher and higher. Autopilot kicking in, Adam almost forgot Lauren was a first-timer in the barber's chair as he moved on from buzzing the sides. She almost screamed for him to stop. Noticing her sheepish terror, Adam paused with concern. Progressing as instructed, the next path to be cut down had placed the whirring blades at her hairline. Something about it, an instinctive avoidance to clippers sitting at her forehead. A singular idea shot to her brain, the one outcome she'd preemptively dismissed out of fear. Bald. I'm gonna be bald. The thought panicked her to the core. It's probably a bit late for second thoughts, Adam joked. Now's the crazy bit, you with me. <sighs> Lauren took a set of deep breaths, hoping to fill both her lungs and her courage. Do it. She commanded. A triumphant hum escaped the clippers as they plowed, beginning to expose the shape of Lauren's skull. Starting from the corner, they flew back, sending sheets of wigmaker's gold down to the floor. Again, the clippers moved from hairline all the way to neckline, each strip a centimeter or two over from the last. He made another four or five full passes, with many more shorter strokes to finish. She was stunned when Adam switched off the clippers, gawking at the inch and a half wide stripe of long, in some parts untouched, locks that had endured. Go on, give it a feel, Adam suggested, walking over to grab his shears. She rubbed carefully, discovering the alien surface of her head as she got to grips with the feel of a close buzz. The top was bizarre. What hair was left compelled her to run her hands through it, but the contact of long tresses and shorn scalp in the space of her palm confused her senses. Lauren's hands retreated under the cape as Adam returned, this time leaning over from in front. He pulled forward a section with his comb, holding it taut, ready to be cut. Strands still long enough that the excess flopped down into her face. In the absence of clippers, the crisp schnick of each slice rang loudly. Quick and precise, the shears left their mark. Pulling stopped and a cloud of ginger drifted onto Lauren's nylon covering. Adam worked accurately from front to back. Each patch of her glowing tresses reduced to a uniform inch. He spun her around as needed, depriving her of view until the big reveal. He repurposed the shears for some point cutting. A final touch of layering to complete the style. He placed the scissors on the counter, loudly slapping the backrest of the chair, signaling a reveal was coming. And you, Lauren... Are all set, Adam said, spinning her back into Mira's view. I. She drifted off, astonished. Well, it's not totally bald. Ha! Huh, what made you think you'd be bald? Is that good? Adam chuckled, laughing at her apparent relief at keeping a few centimeters of mohawk. You had me fooled, she confessed. I'm sure Elle wouldn't mind me sending you back bald instead, he teased. Oh, whoa, no, no, this will do, thanks, she said, quickly shutting down his suggestion. Making full use of the gleaming mirror, she thoroughly reviewed the final look. Innate reactions compelled her to lean forward for a better view. Her pupils remained fixed as she distorted her neck in every direction, feeling like she was staring at a stranger. Occasional sounds of discovery were made. Subtle ooze and us escaped. Extreme and punky was as radical a departure from her usual self she could have had. She ran her hands over her head, tentatively, feeling like she needed special permission. Long, relatively and exceptionally short bristles prickled across her skin, fingertips and palm transmitting tingling straight to her spine. Her head was glowing under the barbershop spotlights, only this time it was pale scalp in place of her trademark reddish flames. Mm. Oh, wow. 
She almost groaned before remembering she wasn't alone. Here, let me. Adam stepped in, delicately undoing the cape. He shook the glossy pinstripe sheet in front of her, drawing Lauren's gaze toward the floor. Free from under the cape, she began to stand. Her progress halted, if only briefly, as the magnitude of discarded hair sank in. She looked all around, pile after pile surrounded the chair's base. Loose curls sat eerily still. Some mounds reaching peaks of over an inch. Lauren hopped down from the footrest. With each step she waded through the ginger swamp. Her head remained bowed, observing the sizable clumps bouncing off her sporty trainers. Lauren felt off balance without the swinging densely packed waves to counter. She and Adam giggled as she stumbled, <laughs> nearly slipping as her feet became lost in the clippings. Reaching clear footing, she looked back, eyes tracking top to bottom. Her orange racing stripe drew immediate attention, sitting on a ghostly white head that she never realized was so small on her shoulders. It seemed to alter her entire figure, though she reasoned the need to get used to it phase was beginning to kick in. Bright chrome glinted bringing her gaze back to the chair, reminding her that she had, in fact, just had all her hair cut off. In a barbershop no less, Lauren shook her head in disbelief. So, um... Lauren said, unaware of the appropriate etiquette for this scenario. Already paid, you're free to go. Unless you need anything. Adam reassured her, fetching his broom. Right, of course. She tried to play it cool, fending off an impending freakout as reality started to hit. Well, uh, thanks. I guess. Happy to help. He cracked his friendliest smile yet. Feel free to call, if you feel like keeping it or need a trim or anything. The two laughed after an awkward exchange. Lauren made it to the exit, stopping in her tracks as the summer breeze wafted in through the door. As she stepped forward the sun began baking her head. Too late for doubts, now her anxiety took center stage. See you soon, Adam called out, catching Lauren by surprise. She smiled and nodded back politely, the most she could muster in response. She checked her phone. Hey babe, did you do it? Can't wait to see, hopefully it's not too short. I did. It's definitely different. <laughs>